Alex's work for rights for all people, for human dignity, is very inspiring to me. I look up to him. He's like my mentor at the same time. If somebody is affected unjustly, he does not hesitate to stand up for them. He is the embodiment of something that we need today, which is somebody who is rooted within the tradition. He's very serious about it, very committed. He's a pragmatist, and he wants people to come on board with some very simple common values, to try to live more simply, share resources, be of service to others, and put an end to killing and bloodshed and violence. He's got this ability to strategize about how to get things done. Are you with me? And yes, the lesson from Muhammad, peace be upon him, who said, none of you has faith until you love for your neighbor what you love for your faith. Is it that interfaith? Interfaith is inseparable from bringing about a more just and a more fair society. Malik has been an enormous ally in this area. We take a very strong stand against hatred and persecution of minorities. He is doing that on a much bigger scale, not only in America, but also around the world. You're not a Marxist, are you? As far as socio-economic theory is concerned, I'm Marxist. But I totally against the Leninism. He thinks out of the box. He got the National Organization of Women involved. It was very successful in passing the resolution both in the House and the Senate, which eventually led to United Nations declaring rape a crime of war. Assalamu alaikum. The Council of Islamic Organization is a great idea. It is being copied all over the country. And I think the Council will continue to set examples if its members and its staff and its leadership pays attention to empowerment of the Muslim community. You see, Islamophobia is not a product of people not knowing the Quran or ignorance about Islam or people not knowing five pillars of Islam. No, Islamophobia is a product of the weakness of Muslim community. So follow the Prophet's model to strengthen yourself and that's where Muslims will appreciate the Council of Islamic Organization more and if the Chicago does it good, other cities will follow.